Good morning, dogs, and I hope you are having a fantastic Friday. New clubs, PSATs, and more, right after the pledge. Please stand. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Next week, TAG will be having two new club meetings. Our club will be meeting on Monday, and the Spanish club will be meeting on Wednesday. Don't forget about our other, cl other club meetings, though, including Hot Dog Fellowship on Monday, Best Buddies on Tuesday, and Jazz Band on Wednesday. If you're interested in taking the PSAT or NMSQT to either get practice for Spring SAT or qualify for the National Merit Scholarship, you need to sign up now. You must sign up using the link in the chatter no later than Wednesday, August 30th. Please contact your school counselor for questions or Mrs. Hill in the library. Now we'll pass it on to Sports and Weather. What's up, dogs? Last night, the volleyball team came out strong at home against Delphi and swept the Oracles 3-0. Leading the team was Macy Stair with 17 kills and 9 digs. Jen Smith added 22 assists and picked up 16 digs. Emma Pillian had a personal best of 6 kills with 8 digs. Erica Stevenson had 2 kills and was 11 out of 11 for serving. Ashley Zhang also had a strong night with 6 digs and Morgan Harrington had 2 digs. Justin Thomas had 2 kills and a solo block. And Ellen McAtee had 3 kills and 3 aces. Tiffany Zhang and Daisy Santos each came in and picked up 3 digs apiece in Game 3. The varsity travels to Faith Christian tomorrow for a 4-team tournament. The first match is at 9 a.m. The JV lost another close match with Daisy Santos leading the way with six assists and two aces and two digs. Abby Keck had a kill and an ace. Ellie Perez had two kills and Justine Thomas had three kills. Morgan Harrington had a kill and three digs. Stephanie Zhang and Mackenzie Nolan each had aces and Melanie Sandoval had a kill. The JV plays next against Peru on Monday. A special thank you goes out to the student section for being loud and electric. Good job, guys. Also last night, with an almost entirely new starting lineup, the Boys Sox team beat Northmont 8-2. Despite ending early, partially into the second half, the Hot Dogs were able to manage a, com a comfortable win. Alex Castro helped the cause with a his second hat-trick of the season. Jaime Hernandez assisted Castro for his first goal, and there was no looking back from there for Castro. Brian Sarabia had two goals of his own and multiple assists, hoping Sarabia score was defensive man Marcos Garcia Cruz and sophomore Ethan Hudspeth. Another sophomore with varsity minutes was Orlando Vasquez, who scored early in the first half. Capping off the night were two seniors who played only a few minutes and made an immediate impact upon being subbed in. Manuel Berrigan scored within minutes of entering the game using Marcos Garcia's second assist. Brian Munoz Gonzalez worked his way into finishing an assist from Sarabia and kept the game well in hand for Frankfurt. The boys are back in action here at home against Lebanon on Tuesday. Now, to Emily, for your daily forecast. Good morning. It's Friday. Last night, we had some light showers, but coming into school this morning, it was very, very foggy with it being 66 degrees, but that'll give us partly sunny conditions throughout today. Later this afternoon, it'll be 74 degrees. Tonight at 7 p.m. for our matchup against Clinton Prairie, it'll be 78 degrees. Wind gusts will be up to 20 miles per hour. Humidity levels are up to 95 so it might feel a little hotter than usual. Anywho, have a marvelous weekend. That's all for weather. Now to Nelson with more sports news. Thanks, Emily. The cross country team is on the road tomorrow, traveling to, North, to Danville to compete in the Danville invite. The meet begins at 9 a.m. Good luck to them. Tonight, the football team is on the road, traveling to Clinton Prairie. This is a county rivalry. Make sure you guys come out and support. Kickoff is at 7 p.m. We'd love to see all your faces there, so make sure you sit in the student section and be loud. We did it for the volleyball team, now let's do it for the football team. The theme for the game is neon. Bring out your bright colors and sit in the student section. It doesn't matter if you're a freshman, a sophomore, junior, or senior. Sit in the student section and be loud. It's all for Sports Dogs, now back to your hosts. For lunch today, in lines one and two, there will be Asian or general so chicken. Line three will be salad bar or broccoli cheese soup. And in line four, cheese or pepperoni personal pizza. And a special birthday goes out to our football manager, Alan Miranda Sandoval. And attention dogs, there will be a pie in the face fundraiser during the week of homecoming, which is September 19th through the 22nd, held during the pep rally. The teacher with the most given donations will receive a pie in the face. Jars will be set out during lunch beginning Monday. All donations made by the FHS staff will go to the United Way program. And that'll be all for today's morning announcements. 
Whoa. <laughs> 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 <laughs>